Welcome back everyone to another NRG and continuing with my Twin Cobra series of videos here we are with Twin Cobra 2 on the arcade now this was released significantly uh, long time after uh, the original Twin Cobra so Twin Cobra was released in 87 and this was released in 1996 so almost a you know ten, a nine year gap between the two games but they are direct sequels along with the original game Tiger Heli which you can also find a video to that on the channel and now this it has all the hallmarks of a mid 90s vertical shooter it is big brash massive explosions huge over the top burst stuff going on lots and lots and lots of power ups numerous sound effects many many sampled effects as well so it's a huge leap from the original Twin Cobra and well just light years away from the original Tiger Heli too as you can see big banging explosions here same sort of uh, scenario with the helicopters flying in patterns and the same sort of gunboats here we go nice little zoom in there another additional thing to the this game so you zoom in closer to the uh, you, to the ground going to a channel there and then we zoom out three yeah, that's beautiful lovely little effect there really nice adds a little bit of a sparkle to the game that does when that happens a little bit of zooming in action happens on certain bosses uh, the power-up system is pretty reminiscent of the original game as well you've got uh, the three power-up weapons green blue and red I'm on the red red weapon at the moment I'm gonna go to the blue because it's always my favorite weapon in these games ah the spread fire that's called the uh, the smasher or something or other. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, indeed, it's good stuff. Um, it's really, I mean, look, I mean, flashy little effects like that, and it's of course as hard as nails. Being a uh, well, originally a tower plan game, much like much of the other tower plan shooters, it definitely has the hallmarks of it was actually done by um, Takumi in 1996 um, which was the first release by them which was the offshoot company of Tireplan when unfortunately Tireplan went belly up in 1994 so the last sort of remnants of a Tireplan um, shooter oh I can do that you can do a hyper bomb in this which I haven't done if you collect five bombs you can activate a hyper bomb which is an additional feature to the game just another little zoom in there for the landing because that is level one done level one is not a problem in this game level two however is because the level two boss is just bloody so hard i i've only ever beaten him once and i'm not going to beat him in this level in this gameplay i'm going to tell you that right now look at my spread fire oh bringing back shades of the original twin cobra with this beautiful spread fire these enemies take a lot to kill um some of them they multiple hits probably more hits than the original and see the power-ups float around randomly in that manner just like they did in the original so all the all the I mean it is, is in essence twin cobra on acid and the zooming effects the 3d effects are great the synth is really really good oh that was utter mass destruction there uh, six levels uh, so I believe this is that the same amount of levels as the original twin cobra I think it is and it also got a non-arcade release on guess what have a guess a shooter that looks and plays and sounds like this mid 90s what do you reckon it came out on for those of you who said the Sega Saturn bing 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 you're correct it came out in 1997 a Sega Saturn port of this fits the Saturn well because it's very good with shooters as we all know I mean it's um a little bit less brainless than the likes of Radiant Silver Gun, I suppose, but uh, it's still tough as nails, and there are certain. Str oh, that was terrible bug! Terrible! Right into that. I actually flew into that. Really poor from me there. Some really imp. Whoa, sugar! Really impressive mid bosses here. This is a, one of the mid bosses. Typical spread fire action. Whoa, bloody, how did, I, how did I miss that? Gonna have to bomb him. Have to bomb him. Um, so it's, it's natural progression uh, in the Twin Cobra series and extremely enjoyable. These pieces are hard. 
No, I couldn't move quick enough. I just couldn't move quick enough. Dang, I have to bomb the bastards. Fuck them. <laughs> Here he comes, the sub. This thing is bloody hard, and I will die. I know I will. It's coming up soon, and it's a bastard. An absolute git. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get those stars. Get those stars. Get those stars in your eyes. I mean, the, the numerous sound effects in this, and the, them really bassy explosions, and hugely deafening explosions. It's very impressive, I do like it. And it just, it, it does seem a bit um, more, should I say, ah, oh, come on, you, ah, oh, that's all my bomb's gone, I'm dead now. Can't, no. You see, I can never get out, out of the way of that guy. Just, that guy's in move so fast. I challenge anyone to uh, have a go at Twin Cobra 2 if you never played it. Get to the second boss and say it's an easy bastard, because he's not. Um, so I'm not going to continue. Some nice little text effects there on the countdown as well. And yes, um, excellent stuff there from Takumi. Takumi. Really good. Um, and Taito again brought, us, brought it to us in the arcades. Uh, loud, brash, firepower, twin cobra action and it's just what I like ha 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 cheers thanks for watching another bug oh